Hey, what's up YouTube? Hope you guys are having a great day today. We just got a huge dev note on the Assassin's Creed collab. A lot of new info, a lot of new content coming to the game. This is probably going to be the biggest collab in Summoner's War history. Let's get into it. All right, so they have a video on the behind the scenes of the Assassin's Creed collab. If you want to go ahead and check that out. I don't want to make this video that long. They give a little bit of background here as to what's happening. If you guys have ever played the Assassin's Creed game, you guys would kind of know what what goes on in the games i only ever played a couple of them so i only know a few of the characters so the monsters that are going to be selected are going to be altair Ezio, cassandra bayek and ivor i don't know the last three of them i just know the first two so here we have some art they go on and say that not all the families are going to have full five stars so we're going to have mixed families we're going to have some five stars some four stars which is really nice it's going to allow more players to get more of the characters because they're going to be four stars. All right, so we have the monsters and their skills listed out. You can go ahead and read them. I don't want to make this video too long, but it seems like the Nat 5s aren't really that great in my opinion, but I'm just going to give a quick review on them. I don't really think that the light one is going to be that great, at least on paper. The skills don't seem too crazy. Doesn't seem game breaking. You know, that's typically what we want from LD5s because they are really rare. Ezio seems like he's going to be a pretty good fire damage dealer. This is only the fire one. We still have yet to see all the other skills for the other elements. But this one seems all right. We already have a lot of fire damage dealers, but we'll see how well he does. He has a very interesting skill with the ignore defense. So we'll see how that works. Bayek actually has a pretty good kit. It seems like he'll be stunning every time he takes a turn so maybe he'll be pretty good for rta cassandra's actually probably the one that interests me the most because she gets to crit and deals 100 percent increased damage if the target's attribute is wind so i think she'll be really good for bosses i think she might be pretty good for the wind slime we'll see and then we have ebor she looks very similar to Frey. she has a very interesting kit she has a lot of multi hits and then she explodes continuous damage like old school Sierra. So we'll see how that works. It's actually pretty interesting. They even said that it's interesting to them. And then we're going to get this new event dungeon. There's actually going to be a lot of content regarding this dungeon. So it goes into a lot of detail. But you're basically going to have to work your way up to the boss. Once you get to the boss, you defeat him. You get rewards. There's going to be three different difficulties. We're going to have normal, hard, and hell. Obviously, the harder you do it, the more rewards you get. So in this dungeon, you're going to be able to select one of the characters to attack with you. It's going to be on your team. You won't be able to change the stats or anything. So it is what it is. I'm not going to go full into detail, but each of these stages is going to have their own requirements. I'll probably make videos on them when it comes out and guides if you guys need that. Here are the stage. We have normal, elite, revival, and boss. And after completing a stage, you get these boosts to your monster so they can do more things like this one where it increases the defense of all allies by 20%. So they're just boosts for your team. Probably going to make it a lot more easier. Here are the loot effects, all the different type of loot that you can get. Basically your boosts. And now we actually have the boss. We're going to be fighting the Templars and it's going to be changing attribute every week. Very nice looking boss. Here are the boss's skills. Nothing too crazy. Like I said, we'll see when it comes out in game. What's pretty cool is that each character has their own unique assassination and you can actually use that on the boss and see a very special animation. Of course, with the dungeon, we're gonna have rewards for normal, hard, and hell difficulty. Here are the rewards down below. For the hell difficulty, you will be getting a weekly special reward and it shows you for each week what that reward will be. We're also going to be getting the assassin headquarters on our island. It's going to be floating to the right. It's basically going to be a shop where you can trade in those codices. I'm not sure if I pronounced that right. I completely forgot how to say it. And then you get different rewards depending on what you trade in. So they're also going to be putting these monsters in Trial of Ascension. So probably on hard, just like the previous collab, you will be getting a event scroll. So here they go on to state when you can get the monsters and how you can get them. After the period ends, then we will be getting the same monsters, same skills, just different skins. So if you want those skins, you got to make sure to summon it within that period. And of course, we're going to be getting the Assassin's Creed scroll. Just like I said, they're probably going to put it in like TOA 
hard and they might make a few events so you can get them as well so it's going to be very similar to the cookie collab and the street fighter collab and here are some additional notes you won't be able to use the collab monsters in siege battle season 11 they're going to have a few other things like elia's new costumes emojis and more i don't see anything about the transmogs hopefully 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 we do get the transmogs because i really want that ragdoll one but yeah that's pretty much it thank you guys so much for watching i'll catch you on the next one peace